Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Celebrated actress Polly Bergen passed away of natural causes on Saturday. The Broadway star also made a name for herself on the screen, both big and small, and had a career that spanned decades. She was 84 years old. The actress and singer was best known for playing terrorized wife Peggy Bowden on the original Cape Fear in 1962, and her portrayal as the first woman president in 1964's Kisses for My President. More recently, Bergen captured a new generation of fans by playing Felicity Huffman's mother on Desperate Housewives and Tony Soprano's father's mistress on The Sopranos. Rest in peace, Polly Bergen. We're getting closer to that time when no company will ever release anything new for fear of offending someone. The latest example, a Ben & Jerry's ice cream flavor that upset a bunch of parents. The ice cream is called Hazed and Confused. It's got hazelnuts in it, get it? However, some customers found the name offensive, associating it with hazing. Leanne and Brian Koak submitted one of their complaints because they were deeply offended by the name. Sadly, their 19-year-old son was a victim of hazing. Unfortunately, he passed away almost six years ago due to injuries he sustained from hazing. It's a terrible story for sure, but the Ben and Jerry's folks pointed out that hazed and confused is simply a play on words that ties in with the brand's ingredients, something the company does with nearly every flavor they release. We'll keep you posted on this story. Oh no! Here comes Honey Boo Boo stars Mama June and Sugar Bear have separated. Mama June Shannon says, Sugar and I have decided to take some time apart to figure out some things in our relationship. The couple, of course, have one child together, beauty pageant star Alana Honey Boo Boo Thompson. Mike Sugar Bear Thompson also helped raise Mama June's older daughters, Lauren Pumpkin Shannon and Jessica Chubbs Shannon. Hang in there, Mama June. Keep your chins up. North Carolina is cracking down on poachers who steal the extremely rare Venus flytrap from the North Carolina coast, the only place in the world where it grows. The penalty is now 25 months in prison. Wow, that's some serious time for a plant that you can't even smoke. Nude photos of Kim Kardashian have been leaked. Boy, I certainly hope that this doesn't damage her reputation. A tour ship ran aground near the Statue of Liberty. Fortunately, there were no injuries, just a chance for some once-in-a-lifetime selfies. American Airlines has reached a tentative agreement with the Flight Attendants Union. All flight attendants now will receive time and a half when they have to deal with any celebrities. One man was arrested for jumping the White House fence and trespassing inside the White House itself. Then another guy was arrested after he drove to the White House and wouldn't leave. Turns out he was the ride home for the first guy. Six Russian military aircraft had to be chased away from American territory near Alaska. You know, if the Russians want to invade American territory, they should just try leaping over the White House fence like everybody else. The latest poll finds that 24% of Americans would have no problem with their state seceding from the Union. I'm pretty sure that these are the same 24% of Americans who can't even find their state on a map. Hey, thanks for checking in. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report every weekday. Watch for the Frank D'Angelo Band appearing across the country during their fall tour. Thursday in Toronto at the Markham Theatre and October 4th at the Casino in Halifax.